So Apple released iOS 18.2 beta one about a week ago already now, and it actually came with a ton of new Apple intelligence features, definitely probably the best release so far in recent memory, um, period, not even just including all the AI stuff. With this build, 18.2 beta one had chat GPT and some other features that you did not have to re-opt in to use. And we talked about those in our prior video. Finally, we were waitlisted and got off the waitlist for Genmoji, Image Playground, and that magic wand feature that for some reason puts you back in a queue for that wait for those features. It took us about a week. Some people got in in a matter of minutes. Some people are still waiting. I wanna go ahead and show you what you guys got or are still waiting for, or if you're not even in on the beta, what to expect. And some are pretty cool. Let's go. So if you're not familiar with what's come in this beta yet, what happens is when you download 18.2, you will see Image Playground right from Jump Street as a brand new app. But once you initially click on it, as we showed in our prior video, you would not actually have direct access to it. You would be waitlisted and then said you're on the waitlist. Same as what we've seen in the past. But now once you actually get access. It will download everything you need and you will get this prompt right here that says describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. So the first suggestion is always a photo of a person and then your suggestions as a chef in a stadium with a bow tie, a top hat, and then you scroll and see more and there is a ton of options here pre-built in for themes, for costumes, accessories, places, it's, it's very thorough and very impressive actually for what Apple's done in beta one here. So not only going off of these themes, so if you wanted to just say a robot um, with a bow tie and sunglasses at a lighthouse, it will curate all of this and generate that exact image you want and continue to generate up to four new images at a time. So once you swipe through one, you can see a couple of the other options here. And when you get to the fourth, it'll regenerate another image even. So it'll continuously do this until you find one you like, and you'll see it'll just keep going. This is very, very cool. You can give it a thumbs up for feedback and all of that if you so choose. You can obviously say a stage and let's get rid of the bow tie piece. Um, maybe put it in a mountain instead. And you can see just how pretty quickly it generates everything you need. It's actually very impressive, uh, again, for just the first beta. And you can play around with this as much as you want. Let's put a pot of plan out with a party hat too. And you can get pretty crazy here and see just everything you can generate. It is powerful stuff here that Apple's doing. I will say also, before we go into the prompts, it is very hit and miss on what it will do. I used some prompts earlier, such as a golden doodle running in a field. It wouldn't do that, but you can ask for a dog and it'll, it, it will work. So let's go ahead and say, describe an image here and say, golden doodle running in a field. And you'll see here, and let me go ahead and just remove some of these other things and start fresh. You can see up top here, it says language not supported which is kind of crazy. So I thought it might've been a spacing issue if they want to see golden doodle as two words, doesn't make any difference. Golden doodle running in a field. Oh, and now it looks like it's actually gonna generate. So it is very intermittent in that sense. Again, it is a beta, so keep that in mind as far as why it might not work perfectly. Now let's add a baseball cap to the golden doodle. Uh, and let's say, let's see what robotic will add to it. Yeah, and able to use that description. So let's move robot out. Let's say uh, love. And you can see it actually generated some hearts around that image. You can go in here also and choose a style if you wish. So instead of doing animation, you can do it as an illustration, which is more of a drawing. And you can see the exact difference here. And anytime you pick one that you like, say we want this one, you can tap on it edit it as you need, or when this image is up, just click the three dots, copy, share, or save the image. It's actually very good, and like I said, very thorough with what you can do. Um, if you did describe an image that's copyrighted per se, so Mickey Mouse at Disneyland. 
unable to use that description. And again, let's clear up all these other ones just so you can see it still will not generate. But if you say a mouse in the street, it'll generate it without any issues. And it's pretty good. So this is what I think a lot of people are gonna be very excited about using. Image Playground does seem very neat. As you can see, I did one here of my daughter, and this is what it looks like when you save an image. You can jump right back into it, edit it, or send it, or share as you'd like. And probably one of the awesomest that I'm excited for is Genmoji. As crazy as that sounds, I said a lot of emojis, and having this capability is very nice. So with Genmoji, if you are in Messenger or in your messaging app, you can see I created one here already, and I just used a prompt of Gator holding a football for obvious reasons if you follow the channel. But if you want to create a new image, when you simply go into your messages to type and as you would traditionally add an emoji, on the top right here, as you can see, you have this new glowing, I would say, smiley face with a plus. And when you click on it, you now get the prompt that says start with a few words or phrases that best describes your idea. So let's say dog celebrating. And we'll say done. And it will actually generate your own Genmoji here that you can use. Usually gives one or two ideas. And then again, it'll keep running through them until you pick one. It'll just keep regenerating at the end. So I like this one, that's cute. Let's go ahead and add it. And not only is it automatically in the messenger itself, but it did create it right here also. And when you send it now, I wanna show you what it looks like on another iPhone end, whenever it comes through. And you can see that is what it shows as. Very neat to see. Also what you can do is if you hold and you wanna do your responses here, you can obviously add it right here in line again as well, and it'll just show it indicated right there. And again, you can see exactly how those look. So I think this is gonna be a fun addition. Don't have to wait on whatever the new consortium is for what's being released for the emojis for that year. Now you can generate your own. And what I did, I did test this out on one of our Android phones. It comes through as a picture almost. So not exactly the same, but it does work on that end as well. So outside of this, what you have is image wand also that you are waiting for access on. And we'll go into notes really quick and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So when you open a note, you can use this a couple of different ways. So this is just a blank text one. And let's just say a house on the beach during the sunset. And say that's all we want to do here. You can go right into drawing and you have this new wand logo right here that you can actually draw a circle on your screen and you can see it read our prompt and it will automatically generate it. So that is pretty cool. If you want to use a text prompt, I'm gonna cancel this actually. And then I'm going to actually just go ahead and draw. Um, let's do a sun and this is gonna be horrible. Once you do that, then you can take your magic wand again and circle the image. When you do that, you're gonna to wanna to give it a little detail, sun at the beach, say done, and you can see it recognized our drawing and then actually drew over it a sun at the beach. Actually pretty neat how well it actually came up with this. I think this is going to be very useful for people that might lead as either an artist or in that kind of industry to really assist with drawings and making presentations better. The Notes app is just one example of a location that this works. So I know that was a lot. It was only three items, but there's a ton of information that this new beta had. Let us know in the comments down below, how are you feeling about iOS 18.2? beta one or 18.2 as a full release should be. It is definitely exciting and encouraging seeing all of these features now finally in the second beta for Apple intelligence. I'm definitely excited. Let us know what you guys think. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.